the back garden at Hampton Court Palace. Beautiful, and it's not surprising. It was designed for kings and queens. But if they'd been around today, what might they have thought of some of the latest designs which are, how do you say it, rather wacky? For the tenth year of the conceptual gardens at the Palace Flower Show, a few designers have really gone for it. The weird and the wonderful. It's a gigantic wave and it's all made of wood. Who wouldn't want a massive wave in their garden? To sit under when it rains, to sit under when it's sunny. Well, there's a dome on top, which is black rods, um, stuck together in an apparent random way. Does it have to mean anything? Can there be things that don't mean anything? Why does it matter at all? And perhaps the most unusual garden is this, a pyramid with holes. The idea is that we have a circle of, uh, the, of a dying star turning into a black hole and then this is, the, the pyramid represents the universe with the wormhole leading to another dimension. Perhaps I'm in a parallel Hampton Court. The designer, John Humphreys, has a bit of a track record for the unusual. He once built this, a replica of an alien. I helped uh, recreate uh, some damaged film footage of an alien being autopsied from Roswell, New Mexico. That's one of the biggest alien hoaxes going, isn't it? Well, perhaps it isn't a hoax. Well, you think it might be true? I think it possibly could be. But what didn't come true today was the judge's approval, because the black water, which was meant to represent a black hole, had suddenly drained away. Do you think it was the aliens? No, I think it was a wormhole. I think it's been sucked into another dimension. And if this is all too much, but you still have green fingers, the rest of the show is more down to earth. Gareth Furby, BBC London News.